I don't know if I can fix these, but I'm going to give a, a try. Can they be fixed? Probably, but let's see. What's wrong with them, and what are they? What you see before you is just some typical yard, whatever you call them, shepherd hooks, what have you, but they've got a lot of extra parts on them. And they've been out so long that they're all rusted up, they won't move, the bolts won't come out, and all of that. So what we're going to try today is see if we can't disassemble these and get them functional for the homeowner. I get roped into all kind of jobs. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know if I can fix it. But you follow along and we'll try to fix these together. Why do I take on jobs like this? Join me as I share stories of my life as a kid, bringing junk home and turning it into something useful. First thing we're going to do is see if we can't pop these off. I think these are on here to keep squirrels and other animals from getting up to the feeders. So let's see if we can't get these off. I'm going to start with this one right here. Hit you down here so you can see what I'm working on. Looks to me like this pops off, but I don't know. Well, that isn't working. Nope. Okay. I thought I could just pop this right off of there, but... Ah! Look right here. I need to take these apart first. Oh, it turned. Oh, that's positive. Let's do this one. Oh, look at that. That turned right off of there. Okay, we've got that figured out. We're going to go ahead and take this completely loose, set the screws out, and the reason I'm doing that is I want to clean them up, oil them good, and make sure that they work correctly for the homeowner. Uh, put a little time into it, but these look expensive. Okay, that's out of the way. Those are there. So let's, let's see what... Okay, I get what that's for. That's just a stop for this right here. So what I really need to do is get that screw loose at the bottom. Let me get down there, show you what I'm talking about here. Right here, this needs to come out, and then I believe that this would come away or come off of separate so that we can uh, get all this stuff off and then I can clean it up. I got a pliers handy, wrong tool, but let's see if that nut turns. It turns, it's like a stainless steel. Boy, that's not in there very far. Let's see if that'll pop off of there. That's where it looks to me like the owner was having trouble. That's not moving. First what I'm going to do is get some penetrating oil and put that on there. I may have to get the torch and heat that up. We'll see. Okay. Got my torch set up. I tried to use pipe wrench in this and it wouldn't budge. Just going to go at it and try to get this loosened if I can. By just putting a little bit of heat on it, and see if we can get that to loosen up. it off. 
Took a lot of heat though. Step one, since we're working on that and I got the heat over here, let's see if this comes off right there. Use my pliers again. Oh, yep, that turns out. See if that'll bump out of there. Nope, that one's just as tight. So I'm gonna get that one loosened with the heat and I'll get back with you when I'm done. It will work just the same as the other one did. I have both of those off and they're cooling right now. The next step in this process will be just to slide these tubes off of them. I'll take my chances and I'll slide one off to, to expose the rest of it. At the uh, risk of burning myself, I'll do that. So this comes like this. There you have it. This is We'll just set these parts right here. Nope, we'll set it right here. We have this part, the three stainless steel bolts. Okay, now what I need to do next is just do the same thing to this next one, but I have to get these bolts. Oh, that's warm. This one's built a little different. It has one extra nut on it that I have to take loose here, and it looks like this whole top comes off and then let's just slide forward. So let me, yeah, let's squirt it. You can't see this, but I squirted it. I'm gonna get a pliers to see if that actually turns. And it does. But chances of that, oh, and it came right out. Chances of that coming loose is pretty slim. That's rusted in there pretty tight. Let me just see what happens if I bump it with a hammer. Nothing. So I'm gonna put, I have to put heat to this up here yet. It'll work the similar, the same as those did back there. The owner told me I can take this off, so I'm going to. Just a Phillips screwdriver. Four Phillips screws. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to take that piece of wood off of there. Let me try one of these. It's turning out so I'll get these out of here and then I'll come back to you. Well I have to say that really fought me to get the top of that off but I got it. Had to use the heat just like here at the bottom. Twisted it until it came off. Now what I'll do is let this cool down I'm going to take all this stuff over to my wire wheel and clean it up good and put a coat of primer on it to keep it from rusting and then reassemble it. When I get it cleaned up, I'll bring you back in. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of the process of the wire wheel, but you've seen that many times before and I don't want to waste your time. Oh boy, this is turning out to be more than I thought it was going to be. Over here, my uh, buffing wheel, and what I'm going to do is uh, clean this outside of this off and then get another wire wheel to clean the inside. I'll knock some of the rust off of this, give it a light coat of paint, and call it done. Just wanted to show you what I do with the wire wheel. It's, it's been around. I've owned this for, what, 50 years? It's an old craftsman. I really don't make them like that anymore. You can see how I'm putting a lot of pressure on that to make the job go faster. And 
that's real time right there. No cutting, no splicing, no nothing. That's real time. You saw how quick that came off. Still got a little bit there, maybe a little bit right there, but for the most part, that's what I'm going to do with the rest of it. When I get it to that point, I'll show you and I'll lay the parts out so you can see how the thing goes back together. I have these all cleaned up. Now I want to show you how they go together. So you look here, this piece, and you can see I have it all cleaned up, slides in here. And, and the problem with this is before, these weren't quite all the way down, allowing a lot of junk and water and stuff, then you tighten that up. But that's not the first thing you do. You see this hole here? That's designed to have a rod through so you can twist this into ground where you want it to be. And once that's done, you take this tube right here and you slide it up on here like that. And you can adjust this. I did not know. And I'll show, I'll bring you in just a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about here. But if you take a look at that, there's a little hole right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a hole right there. And what that allows you to do is when you put this collar on there, which is, keeps this in place, you have access to these screws through that collar so that you can adjust this to any location on this rod that you want and you put your screwdriver through there to tighten this down and you, you just keep going around till you get hit all four of them. And that's how you adjust this. I did not know that when I started to take these apart, but I could have loosened this ahead of time and this whole works would have slid wherever I wanted it and made it a little easier for me, but I didn't realize that. I do now. This one over here, and, and then yeah, obviously when that's all done, you can go ahead and put this part on then. It, uh, like I said, this would be in the ground, then you can slide it over this tube, and go just like that, and you lock it in place with the bolt. Pretty simple, straightforward. Um, the other one goes together real similar, with the exception is that you can do everything from the ground up, and then you can attach this last if you want to. You can put your collar wherever you want on here, and then slide this on from the top, and then put this on and attach whatever you want on this. This originally had this, this on there, and the owner told me he didn't want it back on. But I see how this works. There was some mesh in here, that would hold the sunflower seeds from falling through, but still allow birds to get up there and eat it. A very good system, I think. It would, uh, it would make sense to clean that up a little and it reattach it, but he doesn't want it that way, so we won't do it. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and get all this stuff painted up and then pre-assemble it and I will show you what it looks like with the paint on. I'm just going to be using my Rust-Oleum Rust Inhibitor Primer, which I use a lot in this shop. It works well for me. I recommend anybody doing rust work to use it. And all I will do is lay these out on this cardboard and just take this and spray them. I'm going to get that done 
and I'll show you the components when I get, get it all completed. In the next few minutes, I'm going to use my voice over mic because I lost my audio in recording. So I'll explain to you what I'm doing here and I'm prepping the component for grease. I want to put grease in this tube. I'm using an aqua colored marine grease which uh, deters water a little bit better. I use it on a uh, boat trailer that I recently went through to get ready for the season and now I'm shoving it in there. It's a messy process but it's a process that I feel we need to do simply because those components rusted for a reason. We don't want them to rust again, and I think by shoving grease down in that area will, ha will prevent that from seizing up as quickly as it did before. So when I get done, I'll bring you in. We'll transition into the assembly process with the shepherd hooks. Here you see I'm sliding the bottom end, the screw in to just see how well it goes together. It went together really well. It left kind of a mess on the other shaft which I will clean up and now to put the thing together. We've got the collar. The collar slides up. We finger tighten it hold it in place, as you can see there. And the next component I should grab is the tube. Yeah. See, I'm reaching for the tube and we're going to go ahead and put that tube on next. And it should slide right on there and it does. I don't know if you guys see the skid loader in the back, but that thing was rolled over a few years and it really tore it up. It turned out pretty good to fix it back up. That's probably been close to 10 years now. As you can see, I'm putting this together. It wor it's worked fine. I'll go ahead and get the uh, component that goes on the top and we'll put that on. And once I get all these put together, I'm going to bring you in to show you the finished product. Well, I have these shepherd hooks completed and assembled. This one is really tall and this one isn't so tall. I have it so that the homeowner will be able to adjust that accordingly and set it up however he wants. Quite honestly I didn't know if I'd be able to get those broken loose or not. It took quite a bit of work to do that which you saw in the video with all the heat and everything else that went with that. But we're going to call this project complete. I appreciate you watching. Leave your comments down. Tell me about your projects. I'd love to hear about what you're doing and how your projects are going. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's appreciated. Can this be fixed? I didn't know for sure, but yes, it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.